hello you guys welcome back to my channel i pretty much came on to give you guys a recap of the little weekend away that we had planned and to just carry on with like the rest of our week we have to wrap that up so um i got my friend a birthday gift and that was great the birthday gift was a decanter i'm gonna pop little pictures and stuff on the screen so you guys can see and like the little videos that i did take while we were away we ended up bringing jenga and cards we ended up bringing wine we ended up having um my friend ended up having somebody cater the food and we took the food with us because we didn't know what the situation was and we needed food okay when we got there we got there early and um we thought we would have been able to check in early because i came straight from work got picked up and then we went straight there but we weren't able to check in early because they said that the cleaning crew would have been there until three however we went there early, until four we went there early and we didn't see any cleaning crew but we were just like you know what we're not going to stress the issue we're going to just go explore I'm telling you, this was deep in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the woodland. So deep in the woods, in the boondocks, to the point where we saw Amish people. Obviously, you know, you want to respect people's privacy and whatever, so I didn't take any picture of them. But I was absolutely stunned because I had never known anything about Amish people nor have i seen any so i'm like what is on their head and why do they look like straight out of the 1950s i don't know what the 1950s they used to wear but like just back in the day when you watch those old movies on tv like this is kind of what it looks like that's exactly how they look they were very pretty people their skin looked good they looked well taken care of they looked clean from driving past them in a car or whatever but i was stunned so stunned to the point where when we were on our way back home I was researching Amish people for about an hour of the drive back home because I was just so intrigued. So very interesting. When we pulled up to the community, it it, it was a lot of community. It looks very off grid. We turned off the main road and went on to like a dirt road. Okay, there was a river running alongside that little what looked like a little community. It was so peaceful, so great. And I'll insert videos and stuff so you guys can see absolutely loved it so peaceful so relaxing that first day because we couldn't um go into the property early we ended up going back out finding a little town getting something to eat and exploring and we found the cutest little town in philly and we found the cutest little restaurant where we sat and ate at and that was amazing we went back you know i did a little tour of the place i'll pop it in here so you guys can see this is home for the weekend you come in through the front door there's one bedroom Oh, it's so cool. Let's enjoy it. So very cool. And explore the rest. So cute. Bedroom two. Oh, it's actually three bedrooms. The bathroom. The bathroom is so cute. I love it in here. bathroom is so stunning and then the third bedroom this one has no closet or nothing but it's so very cute and i love the wooden it's like nice so cute and over here we have the living and dining and then we're gonna go look at the kitchen fireplace coffee maker kitchen is very cute and spacious and then in the back we have a grill we have a hot tub it was absolutely lovely a lovely experience and for the rest of the weekend honestly there was no content we relaxed and enjoyed uh 
the company and the solace and just the how off grid everything was. We thought we would have explored um, the Sunday. We did not. We stayed in. We didn't even go in the river. That first evening when we got there, uh, I put Mia's foot in there. Everybody put their foot in there, but we didn't really go in there, really. But um, it was great. It was great. It was nice. It was very peaceful. Peaceful weekend. We left. We came home. We forgot a bag of groceries there. Just, you know, but it was great. I feel like I needed that. Would I go back to that same place again? Absolutely, but just more prepared next time. And we would explore the little town a little bit more. And we could potentially go to eat in that town. So that was great. But yeah, that was the weekend. Right now, I'm laying here and the professor is in the kitchen talking because I have class today. So I'm going to pop in, join the class, and then like we'll come back and we'll chat a little bit more. But that was that weekend. And, you know, it was lovely, lovely, lovely. And I loved it. And we have more little weekend getaways coming up in the future so hopefully next time i'll be able to vlog a little bit more for you guys but this first one was pure enjoyment gotta go hello everyone happy saturday it's currently saturday night actually this is my weekend to work so i'm here i think i came to this computer to say i'm gonna do some homework because i haven't done any since my class on thursday uh, actually, I haven't done any since my class on Tuesday, really. And today is... Today's Saturday. Okay. So, I need to get some done. I don't want to be behind and I don't want to keep um, procrastinating it. I just got to get it done. I'm not going to lie. I'm at the point where... Here. Being a working mom, going to school, coming home, taking care of the baby is like a lot and these days she's not sleeping a lot anymore so i'm barely getting any sleep like last night i was at work and it was a rough night and i didn't i'm the one who didn't get any break and i was so mad because i just feel like i don't want to get paid for the break i want the break i want to go lay down and i want to go sleep because i know what my daytime is like and that i don't get much sleep throughout the day and obviously mia is getting bigger and eventually she's going to get to the point where i'm going to have to put her in daycare because like being home all day with her not getting sleep is not conducive but i'm trying to keep her home for as long as i can and if i could do part-time daycare then that would be great and i would like put her in daycare on the days where i'm um, like i have my class and stuff so i can like get things done you know i can run errands and i can get things done because i feel like for the most part right now the biggest thing is that it's a little bit difficult to one get things done and to like run errands and stuff because her dad works in the daytime and so um So yeah, so far it's been yeah. and we haven't had to put her in daycare and that's absolutely lovely. Yeah. But also, I know that's not going to be a forever thing because that's definitely not going to be conducive for forever, you know. But I'm grateful that we've survived the first year and not had to put her in daycare. So, um, but also there are daycares that are close by that I've seen, that I've researched and coming home and getting her together to take her to daycare will not be like an issue or anything so there's that you know she's listening to Miss Rachel I'm eating a cookie I'm uploading that one video and I'm definitely gonna log on to Pearson and I'm gonna do some homework because I feel like I've not been very um I've not been the most adequate at going on and like doing the homework and I, and I need to, I need to. Tonight I need to print this page. I've been trying to print it at home actually and I, and I haven't been able to. This page actually, I'm gonna scan one of these chapters and put it in my notes because I'm gonna have to um, think a page later on at work. Discrete probability distribution. This one is taking me out, I'm not going to lie, but I want to have it on my phone so I know what I'm doing. And then I'm going to do some homework and then when I go to work and I print out uh, the rough draw for the exam, I'm going to do that. So I'll see you guys later.